Electronics. So in this video, we are going to say a recruitment news from Bharat Electronics Limited. So there is a recruitment happening for the post of Engineering Assistant Trainee and Technician C. So we are going to see all details regarding this recruitment. Okay. So uh, the recruitment is happening from Bharat Electronics Limited, and the post names are Engineering Assistant Trainee and Technician C. Now for Engineering Assistant Trainee or EAT, the qualification requirement is. Diploma in engineering for at least three years. That is three years diploma is a qualification needed. And the branches they are recruiting are electronics and communication with 14 vacancies, mechanical with 10 vacancy and electrical with one vacancy. Okay. The experience they are not asking it is nil. Okay. So if you are a fresher also you can apply. And the pay level is from 24,500 to 90,000 is the pay scale. Okay. That is the per month salary. So this is actually a permanent job. It is not for contract basis. It is a permanent job. Okay. So if you have this qualification, you should definitely apply. Okay. That is the first post is for diploma candidates. Second one, technician C. The qualification is SLC plus ITI plus one year of apprenticeship. Okay. So uh, when this apprenticeship recruitments are happening, a lot of people do ask me what is the advantage of doing this apprenticeship. So here you can clearly see if you are if you have done any apprenticeship, then you will get a preference for sure. Okay, that is they are asking for one year apprenticeship. Okay, or again if you have three years of national apprenticeship certificate course, again also you are eligible. So these are the two qualifications which are eligible for the technician C post. Now the branches they are recruiting are. Electromechanic with 17 vacancies, fitter 3, mechanist 6 and welder 1. Okay. Again, they are not asking any experience. Okay. The pay scale is from 21,500 to 82,000 is the pay scale. Okay. So that's all about the qualification requirement and the branch wise vacancy requirement. Okay. Now, uh, let us see the age limit. The upper age limit for engineering as assistant trainee is 28 years again there is age uh, reservation for all the reserved categories age relaxation is there then for technician C the maximum age limit is again 28 years for both the posts the upper age limit is same 28 years is the maximum age limit okay now uh, let us see the educational qualification we have already seen and also the percentage they have uh, given for engineering assistant training if you belong to the general or econ economically weaker session or OBC 60 percentage you require for your qualifying examination. But if you belong to SUST or persons with disabilities, only 50 percentage you require. That is for your diploma and ITI. Okay. Next, for technician C, again, general economically weaker session and OBC, 60 percentage aggregate you require, only then you can apply. For SUST and persons with disabilities, 50 percentage is a requirement. Okay. So that is the percentage you should have in your diploma and ITI for applying for this recruitment okay so that's the qualification details we have all also seen the vacancy and the age limit and also the pay scale now talking about the selection process the selection process consists of two parts there is a part one which is a general aptitude examination okay so the selection process will be actually happening through examination that is written examinations will be there and the part one examination is having general aptitude 50 marks uh, examination is the part 1 exam and the syllabus for the part 1 examination consisting of general mental ability, the logical reasoning, analytical, comprehension ability, basic numerical questions, data interpretation, general knowledge. So the generic area questions will be there for the part 1 examination which is of 50 marks. Okay, Part 2 examination is technical aptitude that is from your technical subject. 100 marks uh, examination is a part to exam. It consists of technical or professional knowledge test which consists which is having 100 questions from your respective discipline. Okay, that is part to examination is a discipline wise examination. Part 1 exam is a common or a generic examination. Okay, totally 150 marks exam is there for part 1 that is consisting of part 1 and part 2. Also, they have given the cutoff uh, that is a minimum cutoff. You require for qualifying the part 1 and part 2 separately. For general OBC and economically weaker session, 35 percentage minimum you require separately for part 1 and part 2 to qualify. 
But if you belong to SCST and persons with disabilities, 30 percentage is the cutoff percentage, minimum cutoff. Okay, that much you require to qualify. So that's all about the selection process. The important qualification criteria they have given in this notification is that the registration in Karnataka employment exchange is essential. Okay, so mostly they'll be taking the people from Karnataka state only because in the Karnataka employment exchange registration they are asking as compulsory. Okay. So, this thing also they have given in the notification. Now, talking about the application procedure, the application procedure is online only. So, uh, in this uh, career page of BEL, you'll be seeing this notification. Below that, you will find an application form. So, you have to fill up the application form by filling up all your educational qualification details, personal details and everything. Uh, and you have to apply online. Okay, so that is the application procedure. And also, there is fees for applying. The fees is... Uh, 300 rupees and that is for general OBC and economically weaker sessions for uh, SAST persons and persons with disabilities there is no fees for applying okay so that is application procedure and the application fees so we have seen all details regarding this recruitment so if you are interested uh, please see the notification in detail and if you think that you are eligible please to apply for it as soon as possible the last date is 3rd February is the last date for applying okay so everything they have actually given in detail in this notification. This notification link I'll be posting in description. So if you are interested, please go through the notification. And if you are eligible, apply for it as soon as possible. Okay. So if you found the video useful, please do like uh, the video and also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.